What's going on? I'm Larry Hoover Jr. and I'm rocking with Street Certified News. Oh, it is your boy Kiss, man. Shout out to Street Certified News. Yo, it's your boy L. Hitter, Mr. All Yeah. Y'all already know what it is, man. I'm rocking with Street Certified News. Got behind the scenes, man. We're gonna tie this bitch up. What up, this is your boy Bum J. We rockin' with Street Certified News. Peace out, great. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Emmerich Guapo, man. Street Certified News. We back with another one. We always, always gotta salute you guys, the viewer. Um, man, hey, we gonna keep making these types of stories. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep trying to drop these types of docs for you guys because you know you guys always show support. And we really appreciate that support before we get this video started man we need everybody to stop smack that like button um especially with stories like this man it's a lot of rumors going on and we want the correct videos you know to get to the top of the algorithm try to run the video let's try to run it up to a thousand likes man you know what i'm saying let's try to put a thousand likes on this video oh uh, we really feel like this story is important um, we did our due diligence and we spoke to people involved with the case. Um, before we get to this week's story, man, we definitely wanted to speak about um, a previous story we did on the dude G Face Trucking. If people don't notice, um, the video is currently down. Uh, the dude G Face Trucking, you know, he pulled some rat activities and he uh, copyright struck the video due to, I believe, some parts of the video uh, dealing with the phone call that he made uh, to Snoopy trying to, you know, prove that he wasn't a rat. Anyway, um, you know, we're pretty sure that uh, through our appeals process, YouTube, you know, will find it in our favor and the video will be back up soon. But we just want y'all to know that, you know, that's why you don't see the G-Face trucking video up uh, right before it hit like 10K. He copyright struck it. So, you know, man, man, f dude, man, you know, we already knew he was a rat, but the video will be back up soon. This week's video, uh, like we told you guys in previous videos, man, we don't be out here looking for shit and looking for the stories. Um, but this week's video, uh, it was actually brought to us. A number of people was calling us, asking us about, hey, man, what you know about this? What you know about that? I guess there's a blogger who's been, you know, going real hard trying to prove that the dude Big deal, backdoor FBG cash. Um, we did our due diligence. We talked to people and we believe that, you know, the bloggers definitely missing parts of the story. Um, this is not like a we're not coming at nobody specific, but, you know, there are being rumors being spread uh, by certain bloggers. And, and this video is not really coming at that guy or or coming at anybody that's spreading these rumors, because, you know, as we're going to lay out, there's a lot of real facts in the story that kind of make what they're saying believable uh but it's not um so again man this week's story did big dale backdoor fbg cash uh and involve o block in his murder man hey with no further ado let's get right into it on june 10th 2022 at 5 32 a.m tristan hamilton also known as fbg cash a rising rapper from chicago was gunned down while with the woman in the parked car on the 1600 block of West 81st Street. Sustaining multiple gunshots to his body, the 31-year-old rapper would be pronounced dead at the hospital, while his female passenger would also suffer a gunshot to her upper arm with the bullet exiting out of her back. At the time of his death, Hamilton was a part of the rap group, The Flyboys Gang. Shortened to FBG, Hamilton's rap group will for years be entrenched in a deadly rap beef with a group of Chicago rappers out of Parkway Gardens housing project led by now deceased rapper King Von. Two years prior to the death of FBG Cash, his fellow groupmate FBG Duck would be gunned down, this time in a brazen broad daylight shooting in the city's popular Gold Coast neighborhood. Because of this beef between FBG and Parkway, and although a suspect was never arrested for the death of FBG Cash, rumors in the streets would originally blame Oblock and the girl's boyfriend for the killing. Originally, the rumors when FBG Cash uh, was killed, it really focused on the girl's like ex-boyfriend or something, as well as members of Oblock. 
um after the death of fbg duck you know fbg cash he picked up that mantle of fbg um he would you know eventually get signed uh to a, a pretty big label out in california and you know in a lot of his music he was dissing the ops just like you know fbg duck was so the rumors originally were more focused i believe on o block as well as some initially focused on the girl's ex-boyfriend a big reason for that was because about a week prior to fbg cash's death he was shot while with the same girl and you know they were at her house and people believe you know hey that could have been her boyfriend that was something that was uh eventually ruled out like we said there's a lot of kind of little little parts of this story that i guess uh the blogger you know uh, or, or just the people who created these rumors you know they're piecing little pieces of the story together and they're really trying to kind of like formulate this idea that you know big deal has something to do with it um we can say this uh at street certified news like i said doing our due diligence um any theory that doesn't involve certain facts of the story and certain people in the story they're just either wrong or incomplete um we're not really here to do the job of the police so we're not gonna really dig into the actual you know what facts we're talking about and what people we're talking about but if you listen to the overall rumor of you know why big dale has something to do with it and you know the three thousand dollars and the pound of weed and all that stuff which we'll get into later it's really missing some vital important facts and people and information that we know had something to do with this death like we said it's an open case it's an open investigation so we don't want to do you know too much digging into the actual reason and, and how and why cash died r.i.p uh fbg cash um but we did want to speak directly about a lot of these rumors that's being put on big dale after his death um and speaking of big dale we're gonna call us fire belmont in california Belmont in California, the caller her 7 to 8, not the plan. 99. It's also coming in at 3209 Elston in the alley. Alright, we got multiple calls still coming in. I guess it's over by Michelle's ballroom. Now coming in as a person shot. I think somebody might be shot. It's coming in Belmont in California with these stuff follow. Uh, they said there's people gathering around the corner of Belmont in California. Fire is rolling. 2800 West Belmont, Mel Black, 58 Green Hoodie, Black Pistol in hand, headed towards the parking lot near the vacant bank. The outside of the building again, a Mel Black, 58 Green Hoodie, Black Pistol with a gun, uh, headed towards the bank parking lot. A potential real beef Big Dale had with FBG Cash may have stemmed from October 20th, 2021, when a verbal altercation at a family birthday party would turn into gunfire at Michelle's Ballroom on the 2800 block of West Belmont in the city's northwest side. During the gunfire, a man by the name of Kenyon Vance, aka G Skinny, would be shot and killed in the parking lot of the event, while Keon Holton, Big Dale's son, aka Fat Shorty, would initially drive away from the scene with one gunshot wound before calling 911 and being transported to Illinois Masonic Hospital where he would later be pronounced dead. Although the suspect would eventually be positively ID'd as Fat Shorty's own brother, DeMondre Holton, others would claim that Cash himself was the man who fled on foot in the green hoodie after initially trying to calm down the situation. Eventually, police reports would state that Big Dale himself was also involved in the verbal altercation before parties would spill outside and he spoke to detectives 10 days after the shooting, informing them that his other son, DeMondre, would turn himself in, which he eventually did. To speak on really the major rumor, and uh, this rumor really been out since, you know, the death of Fat Shorty. Now, um, when Fat Shorty died, there were reports that, you know, his house was robbed and somebody broke in the house. And a lot of people were saying, hey, that could have been FBG Cash, you know, breaking in the house, stealing shit, I guess, because he knew his homie was dead. Now, after speaking to sources and really speaking with people and understanding what's really going on, um, we're, we're really here to tell you guys that, look, 
um, Fast Shorty and, and Cash were were business partners. They were best friends. They were around each other every day. Um, there may have been a chance that there were some items left in Fast Shorty's home, and after Cash, you know, he potentially witnessed what happened. He knew that he had to retrieve those items before, you know, the police investigation and before, you know, other people that was at the party before they start coming around. He really had to go get that stuff. Um, we were told that, you know, uh, at no point, you know, was this some sort of robbery or anything like that? Potentially it was cash retrieving, you know, like a stash or something that he was being was being held for him. You know, it was some bread. They was locked into some street shit. So, you know, it's a chance that look, man, your homie died and you know the work is over there. You gotta go get it. You can't really ask for it or call. You and you don't want to leave it there. Shit, that might be, you know what I'm saying? That's your work too. So that's a chance that something like that happened. Um, that's a real rumor that's out there. And eventually, you know, Big Deal will hear about this. And that was a little bit of a beef, we believe, between Big Deal and FBG Cash. However, no, Big Dale being involved directly in the death of his son by his other son and him kind of knowing what's going on. We don't believe that, you know, he was really in any position to blame FBG Cash for the death of Fast Shorty. Um, He may have even understood just by him being in the streets that some of that shit over Fast Shorty career was Cash's. He probably wasn't happy that dude did it. He, he may have been like, hey, man, you could have asked me about it, but straight up we're just here to tell y'all um the people involved do not believe that big deal put you know backdoored uh fbg cash over three thousand dollars in a pound of weed that's something that people are spreading that rumor because it may have happened but that's not why fbg cash uh was killed so speaking on the uh, old block rico that again that's kind of being added to this story that hey there's this old block rico that's coming and uh you know this is part of that this murder of fbg cash may be part of this old block rico that could be true um you know whether the fbi has phone records and different things like that we're being told that the source either there is no source and no one said that or the source may be a disgruntled person who doesn't like big dale anymore may want to discredit that person's name but for the people that know big dale for the people that know fbg cash you know, they're 99% sure that there were people involved with setting up FBG Cash, but it wasn't Big Dale. Um, his connection to O Block kind of leading up to the death of FBG Cash. Also, some people look at that as suspicious. Um, at the time, Big Dale was kind of looking to increase his status in the city as a peacemaker, you know, a former member who now wants to work with both sides to seek peace. It's a lot of people doing that right now, pushing peace. The whole pushing peace movement is popular right now. And that's something that, you know, Big Dale was a part of early on. So, you know, his connection to O Block may have been, you know, merely a coincidence. Um, again man it's a lot of different pieces and different things that people are trying to put together and you know they're trying to blame you know dead people again for more murders um we, we you know we're not here to bash any channel man we rock with all the bloggers all the urban channels but at the same time man you know we really got to stand on certain stories and the truth and be unbiased and you know big dale knew who killed his son big dale probably he understood why cash may have had to go retrieve some items and um they didn't have any reason to be for or have any you know there wasn't no reason to to put some ops on cash and when you know he know that's his son's best friend one of our main things about these stories is like man we want to hit y'all with the most unbiased we want to hit y'all with the most accurate reports of these street stories right now this rumor has been out and we felt like we wanted to kind of clue you guys in to maybe some facts that that aren't being spoke about when these rumors are being spoke about um we can't really kind of dig too much deep into the whole cash thing but we can't say that any rumor that leaves out certain facts and certain people is not really a reputable story or a reputable rumor um and that's you know that's what we're here for man we at street certified news man we, we trying to bring you guys the most accurate unbiased information uh things that we stand by um shout out to all the people who we spoke to today about this story um you know there's other people that put out these stories but ours is coming out a little later just because we wanted to really give you guys the best content and really you know produce something that uh that cover all of the bases again man it's your boy emory so guapo 
uh, Street Certified News, the street's most reputable source for urban media, man. We're going to keep covering these topics. Um, man, if you haven't already done so, please hit the like, comment, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. Um, we're going to keep giving you guys hard hitting content. Uh, we love you guys. We appreciate all the support. We out. Look who in the cut. <laughs> and ain't afraid of <laughs> them. Guys, shut them dry. Fuck. Hey, look. I'm out early. I'm in motion. Fuck. Old school.